everybody and welcome back to Star Cub Review. I'm your host, Star Cub. Today I'm gonna do a quick and easy review on Jordan Peele's third film, Nope, which is a neo-Western science fiction horror film written, directed and co-produced by Jordan Peele himself under his Monkey Paw Productions banner. The movie stars Kiki Palmer and Daniel Kalua. Um, before we get into that though, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to kick, click like and subscribe and the notification bell to stay tuned to more from my channel. For all those returning, let's get into it. So, Nope, uh, Jordan Peele's third film. What can I say about it? Uh, that it surprised the hell out of me. I was absolutely amazed at this film. It literally had me hooked from start to finish. Um, not saying it's absolutely perfect because there are some things that are confusing as hell to me, some, the, some of the choices that he made in the film, but that's little, little things that I, I would have done completely different. But there's two stars of the film, especially Kiki Palmer and Daniel Kaluuya. They both are exceptional uh, actor and actress. They are amazing in this film. Absolutely loved Kiki Palmer's uh, character. She is absolutely amazing. She plays M, and Daniel Kaluuya plays Otis. They are siblings. They are horse wrangling siblings, and the plot the plot basically goes they want to capture capture evidence of a flying saucer in their area. The strange things start happening on their ranch, and they pretty much think that it's a unidentified flying object that is causing all the mischief, pretty much. Uh, I won't give very much away, but the marketing for this film was absolutely amazing with a cloud that had a little banner thing coming out of it, a horse up in the sky getting sucked into the clouds, a cloud overlooking a town that was all lit up at night in you know the countryside, hills, mountainside. It was, the marketing for this film was absolutely amazing. The trailers had me hooked, like it was all this science fiction, Western horror mumbo jumbo. You don't know necessarily, is it, is it an alien film? Is it a supernatural spirit film? It, it was all these things that culminated together that really, paid off with the marketing and the trailers for this film. I was absolutely amazed at Jordan Peele's script, direction. Everything was beautifully shot in this film. The cinematography, the visuals, the practicals, everything was just so cohesive. It all, it just, it was absolutely amazing and I can't praise Daniel Kaluuya enough. He was absolutely amazing as Otis. Uh, so was Kiki Palmer as M, his sister in the film. Uh, she is absolutely amazing. She has some of the most amazing styles throughout this film. Like, I cannot believe the styles that Kiki Palmer pulled off in this film. It's just incredible. The costumes were amazing. The story is amazing from start to finish, especially the second and third acts and then the final part of the film just absolutely blew me away. There were moments where I was tearing up. There were moments where I was gasping going, what the actual F? Like he, Jordan Peele and the cast and crew did an amazing job on that film. Uh, it had me hooked, it just, it plays into a lot of nostalgia as well with Westerns, but also having an edgy horror, science fiction feel, thriller as well, but also a drama at the heart of it as well with the two siblings. Uh, Keith David co-stars in this film. He plays their father in the film. There's an incident that happens with him at the start of the film as well that starts this, that kickstarts this whole thing off as well in the film. Uh, he was good for the small part that he played 
It's absolutely amazing for those that have seen it. Um, it's been a lot of people were divisive about this film as well, I feel. Um, I went in going, I, I'm not going to like this, I'm not going to like this, I'm not going to like this because I don't like George. I, I've, n I've n had a real hard time stomaching his two other films. I sat through them, but they were boring to me. They were so overhyped. Uh, I didn't like the script. I didn't like the characters. I thought they were awful. The direction was awful. A lot of, there was a lot of plot holes in the two films. Uh, Get Out was just awful. I did not like that whatsoever. Uh, and Us, I tried to like that film, but there was no redeeming qualities in that film that I liked at all. The plot for that film was really just I'm dumbfounded by the the plot of that film. None of it made sense to me, but nope, really stuck. So I give Jordan Peele a lot of credit there that he actually got me invested in one of his films. Uh, it was absolutely incredible. For those that have seen it, they probably or some people will like it, some people will hate it. It's very divisive about this film. Um, I thought I was, like I said, I thought I was going to hate it, but from start to finish, I absolutely just fell in love with this film. Uh, definitely one that I watched three times because it was that good. And the just the connection that Daniel Kaluuya and Kiki Palmer have, their energy just radiated in that film. They were amazing. You have to see it or get it on Blu-ray. It Just trust me, it is absolutely amazing. Everything about it was really, really good. I can't wait to see what Jordan Peele does for his next film. Although I'm hoping he adds, he goes different with uh, another film. But I also feel like he's left the door open with Nope for a sequel. I'm not going to give it away how he does it. It, I feel like he's opened up the door now to do a whole mythology on this, on the next, on another film, a sequel to Nope, which plays into the whole uh, UFO angle, um, which is tentatively named Jean Jacket. Uh, absolutely amazing name. Absolutely loved it. Uh, I hope there's more from Jordan Peele, where it goes down this, it's a very different alien route. You just have to see it. It's really, he's played the whole genre different. And that's what I like. I, I really liked how he spiced it up. It was absolutely amazing. Um, my rating for this film, I give it a 9.5 out of 10. It's not extremely perfect. It is amazing. But it's not perfect. My, I have little gripes with it, but they're small things that, at the end of the day, I've put all them aside and really enjoyed the film and had fun with it. Uh, I'm probably going to do another watch of it. But yeah, don't forget, if you want to see it, go and see it, get it, rent it, whatever. Uh, it was absolutely amazing. Um, and if you found this informative, please remember to give me a like and a subscribe and click the notification bell to stay tuned to more from my channel. Uh, I've got another video coming hopefully soon. I've got to edit it um, and I'll have it out by tonight. Uh, this one I, uh, I was meant to do last night, but I had other things on my mind, so I'm doing it now. Um, and I'll get it out to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to click like and subscribe and stay tuned for more. Thank you. Bye.